Today we're gonna to carve a Santa. This block of wood is two and three quarters by two by one. I'm gonna make it into a bread loaf to start. Uh, we'll show you what the finished product's gonna be now. That is what we're going to attempt to make today. So, we're just gonna take and round it off like we did on the other two. Might do a little different on this video. Uh, I had some requests to make a couple changes from uh, people watching the videos. So we'll see if this helps a little bit. All right. We're ready to start carving a bowl today. Like I said, we're going to do the Santa. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a circle cut right here. We'll taper in a little bit right here. We're going to come across right there, put in the bottom of his ear. This will come all the way across. This will wrap around. We're gonna make a cut here for the eyebrow, here for the bottom of the nose. Okay, here we go. Try to make your cut straight. Before you ever start, get your carving glove, put it on. If you haven't carved a lot, even if you have, wear a carving glove, safety first. Yes, I know, do as I say, not as I do. Okay, now I like to have a couple different knives available. So then when I'm carving, I always have one that's sharp and I don't have to switch. I didn't flatten the back out on this, so I'm gonna do it right now. You want these, uh, if it's an ornament, you can put your name on the back of it and the time and date, your name. Uh, I make bolo ties out of most of these. Put in our ear, just a nice little cut. Now, if you need to stop the bit video, catch up a little bit. Gonna put in our hat. Okay, now we're talking about that line, the bottom of the nose. socket coming out. Leave plenty of wood in there. You can always take more wood off, but it's really a pain in the butt when you have to put it back on. Okay, we gotta round this up. Do it on the other side. Okay, now they asked me to show you the depth. How deep those cuts are. Okay, now we're gonna progress. There's a hundred different noses. There's not one that's perfect. Every piece I do is a little bit different. This guy's gonna have a really skinny nose since I did that quick cut on him and that's what I'm gonna end up with. Okay, fix it to your forehead. I had the opportunity the other night to teach a class over at the Utah Valley uh, University to a group of carvers and they had a good sell on knives up at Woodcraft. However, they weren't heavy knives and they couldn't understand the difference in the knives. So I passed out a couple of the knives that I have laying here and allowed the students to try them. Even though they got a great deal at 30% off, they all felt they got ripped off. And they'll be going down to buy a healthy knife. Okay, time to put on her beard. Let's come down, we're gonna come in. Be careful, you always cut into the crotch of your hand. If that blade is heading towards your thumb, don't move that blade. Get your thumb out of the way, because it will go right into your thumb. 
Okay, nice little taper down. Okay, you're starting to see your face coming. There you go, that's about what you want it to look like. Let's hurry and put our ear on. Okay, we got our ear roughed in. Now put your knife, this is a series of small thin cuts. If you've never done an ear this style, probably take 10 to 12 little cuts, just thin slivers till you get it where you want. Now you can see that it's still pretty bulky looking. Put your knife on the 45. Okay, this comes in on the 45 here. Pop that out. Do this on the other side. Okay, space comes in a little bit right there. Put this ball on. See our mustache just came out. Now we put it right up here at the temple. That's just a little lazy C. Putting the knife tip right along that cut you have and use it as a stop cut. Put your angle of your cheek in going into his beard. Okay. Put your knife in the middle of his nose. And then you cut up into it. Mustache done, beard in. This video is a little late for this year's Santas, but next year you can practice on them and get them cut them out. Get your perfected. Okay, go ahead and you can see how thick that is. It still looks a little bulky. Just put your knife here on a 45. If you've carved a bunch, you'll realize this is a pretty basic, simple carving, but it paints up really nice and cute. Makes a nice little Christmas ornament. Put a little more detail on his cheek by putting a little cut right there on. Do it on both sides. This side here needs to pop down just a little bit more. Want to clean his eye up. Okay, this needs to be made into a little round ball. Notice that I'm using my thumb to push. That's not with this hand. My power comes from my thumb. When my thumb is fully extended, my knife doesn't shoot across the table or into the table. Okay, we're going to put the cut right here. This will give you a little definition for your jaw. I want to make sure all that rough wood is off. A whole lot easier to paint if you do that. Okay, we'll tip that over. I'm just going to trim up the bottom of his beard. That eye still got some. Okay, there we go. Time for his hat. Coming up, put a nice little taper on it. Do the same to this side. Take your time, stop the video, catch up. Okay, put your knife 
45 down. Do the same on this side. That's Santa's head in there. Okay, put your knife. You know, it's hard to tell how sharp your knife really is until you put it on wood. If it's not cutting real smooth, pick up your other knife and try it out. It doesn't hurt to have a spare. Okay, get your uh, dockyard or your V-tool, put some hair on him, get him painted up, and have a fun time carving Santas.